Welcome to How to Do the Komen Tiebreak in Doubles with Graphics. The Komen Tiebreak can seem unnatural at first, but once you've got it, it's easy to follow. In a USTA SoCal doubles match, if a set is tied at 6 6, you play a 7 point Komen Tiebreak, and if after two sets the set count is split 1 1, you do a 10 point Komen Tiebreak. Thankfully, both work exactly the same way. A quick note about tennis language. We use the word side for the do side and add side of the court. We use the word end for the side of the net you're on. When you move from one side of the net to the other, you're actually changing ends. Yes, of course it's natural to call that changing sides, but we use the term end for which side of the net you're on just to keep the rules straight. Now it's time for our visual demonstration. We've got four players playing doubles. Ashley and Bob against Carla and Dan. Yes, their names start with A, B, C, and D. After the last game before the tiebreak, it was Ashley's turn to serve next, so Ashley begins the tiebreak. Point one, Ashley serves once from the do side of the end they would have served from if another game was going to be played. This is the only time in the Komen tiebreak that the do side is served to first. After this first point, the players switch ends. Let's talk briefly about return of serve. If you're playing a seven point Komen tiebreaker because the set was tied at 6-6, the tiebreaker is a continuation of that set and you should return serve from the same side you did during that set. If you're playing a 10 point Komen tiebreaker, the tiebreaker is considered a third set and you and your partner can switch which sides you return the serve from, but you have to return from the same sides for the entire tiebreaker. It's rare to switch at that point, but it is an option. All right, let's get back on topic. For points two and three, Carla, who served after Ashley during the match, serves to the add side and then the deuce side. Points four and five, Bob serves twice, first to the add side and then to the deuce side. The player switch ends after point five and continue the pattern. Point six and seven, Dan serves twice, first to the add side and then to the do side. Points eight and nine, Ashley serves twice, first to the add side, and then to the do side. The player switch ends after point nine, and continue this pattern at point 13, 17, and so on as needed. A seven point tie break is won when one of the teams reaches seven points, but they must win by two. So if you're tied at six, six, someone has to win eight, six, if it's tied at seven, someone has to win nine, seven, and so on. The 10 point tiebreak is one when a team reaches 10 points. Again, they must win by two. I don't think I have to explain that. And we believe this is a pretty clear way to demonstrate how the Komen tiebreak is played. Remember, tennis is supposed to be fun, but always make sure you clarify these rules with your opponent before starting a tiebreak so that everyone is on the same page. Enjoy. Bye. 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 Bye.